Joining us at 6 o'clock, a Middletown police lieutenant suddenly retired today after he was confronted about his misconduct by the Nine on Your Side I team. Jim Cunningham was a 28-year veteran of the Middletown PD. Chief investigator reporter Craig Cheatham is here with a look at why the city refuses to release details of its investigation of Cunningham. Craig. Tanya and Craig, city officials claim the public is not entitled to know what it learned about Jim Cunningham during the city's investigation because that information, it says, is protected by attorney-client privilege. Lieutenant Craig Cheatham, Channel 9, I'd like to ask you a few quick questions. You got a minute? For several years, the city of Middletown has been hiding what it knows about allegations of Lieutenant Jim Cunningham's chronic misconduct. The comments that you made to seven co-workers, can you talk about that? The I-Team started unraveling the story two months ago when we obtained records from the Ohio Civil Rights Commission. The records included complaints filed three years ago by seven Middletown police officers who said Lieutenant Cunningham had sexually harassed them. A female officer reported that Lieutenant Cunningham asked me to send him pictures of my breasts. Male officers said Cunningham touched them inappropriately and talked repeatedly about the size of their penises in front of other employees. Sergeant Brad Carroza described the harassment when he was questioned during the commission's investigation. They'd come in to stand at the doorway and stare down at my crotch. It happened again and again. He's made sexual comments, remarks, the behavior that I've, that I've seen personally in, with him since I've been here. Would make I guess anybody wonder how you get by with all that. He had a long track record of uh, misconduct. Attorney Adam Gerhardstein, who represented the seven officers, said they took their cases to the Civil Rights Commission because they believed the city of Middletown's investigation hadn't done enough to address their concerns. I think the investigation was deliberately designed to not be uh, transparent. The city had hired outside lawyers to take notes during private interviews with more than 60 city employees. There was no written record of a report, findings, or recommendations. The city has refused to release the notes to the public, claiming they are protected by attorney-client privilege. They conducted this investigation, I think, in a way to um, shield. Um, the truth uh, from the public and to protect uh, James Cunningham. Have you heard of anything like that before? Where a law firm was hired and no reports were ever generated? No, I haven't. Cincinnati attorney Mike Allen is a former Hamilton County prosecuting attorney. If we're spending taxpayer dollars on a law firm, which I'm sure isn't cheap, to investigate something, you would you would think that there should be a record of that. During the city's investigation, the police department learned Cunningham had also slapped a homeless woman but failed to report it. The city concluded Cunningham violated the use of force policy and that he harassed officers, then combined all of it together, calling it conduct unbecoming, and suspended Cunningham for 30 days. Only five of those days were without pay. Under that agreement, the former police chief would determine if Cunningham needed counseling, which is why the seven officers filed their complaints with the Civil Rights Commission. There's a lot of great officers at the city of Middletown, and, the, and my clients were among them. All they wanted was to create a more healthy, uh, supportive working environment. In 2015, the commission negotiated seven settlements with the city that paid the employees a combined $15,000, required Cunningham to get counseling, and did not allow him to directly supervise the seven officers for two years, unless they agreed to it. Former prosecutor Mike Allen says the city of Middletown has the right to share the notes from its investigation of Cunningham with the city taxpayers who paid for it. You can't or you won't? Which one? But three years later, the silence continues, and the details of the unprecedented number of complaints remain a secret. Police Chief Rodney Muterspaul and City Manager Doug Adkins declined to discuss the case. Adkins told the Civil Rights Commission that Cunningham wasn't fired because he had a long, effective career, there were no previous harassment complaints against him, and Adkins believed the termination would be rejected by an arbitrator.